Okay guys, so today I have a special kind of video because I was debating whether or not to film this because I didn't know how helpful it would be, but after much contemplation, I finally realized that I think this video would actually be very helpful, especially for some of you other makeup artists out there or for anybody that's aspiring to be a makeup artist. So this is going to be a full in-depth review and opinion and just a little bit of background info on the Bobbi Brown Ultimate Palette or otherwise known on bobbybrowncosmetics.com, the BBU palette. And I'm pretty sure the U in BBU stands for ultimate, so it is the Bobbi Brown ultimate palette. For those of you who don't know what this palette is, this is a palette that has your all-in-one stop shop kind of thing. Um, it has correctors, concealers, this is that side, and then on the other side, you kind of flip it over, it's like a little book, you have foundations. Now before I get into detail about what the correctors are, what are the concealers, and then the foundation, um, I just want to give a little bit of background info. So the reason why I got this and um, the reason why I have been wanting it was because it has everything you could possibly need as far as every skin tone shade of foundation, corrector, and concealer. And to me that is just so valuable and the size of it is so compact. Also, it's refillable. So. In my opinion, that is just something that you cannot beat, especially as a makeup artist. You don't know what kind of skin tone you're going to you know, run into or you may not have something on hand. And instead of trying to lug around all these different bottles of shades of, of foundation or you know, all these different kinds of tubes of concealers, that is just something that I think you definitely need to consider whether or not you're going to be helping yourself or hurting yourself by kind of really struggling with all these different types of products when you can have a vast majority of what you need in one palette. So for me, palettes are especially awesome and if you're a makeup artist, you're going to want palettes or you're at least going to want to invest in palettes, whether it be foundations, powders, eyeshadows, I mean lip products you're going to want to invest in palettes rather than just trying to carry around everything in all individual packets. I mean, it's just a smarter and easier way for you to do your job. So anyway, moving on to this specific palette and what it contains inside. So as I first mentioned, when you first open it up, and by the way, a lot of people are taken aback at the size of this thing, so I'm kind of holding it here for you. Um, look. As, as compared to my hand, it's about the size of my hand or about the size of my palm. So it's really not that big. A lot of people kind of get surprised when they receive it or when they actually see it in person how small it is. Um, it's kind of like a pro and a con. Some people are kind of bummed because they're thinking like, man, like this is so small, there can't be that much product in there. But in reality, you have all the product that you need to last you for a good while. And a pro to the size of it is that it's convenient and it's easy to carry around. So anyway, like I mentioned before, it opens up kind of like a book. It's hinged on one side. So you're going to open it up, and the first thing you're presented are correctors and concealers. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Bobbi Brown, you're going to kind of be a little curious, and you're probably a little confused as to exactly what's the difference between a corrector and concealer. So with correcting underneath the eye or any discoloration or dark circles that a lot of people and a lot of women kind of run into that problem, Bobbi Brown has a concealer system that works with two different products, and the first product is correctors. Now these are color correcting shades, so you don't want to use these on your on their own because it's not going to look as right or as it should when you leave it just that color. And the reason that is is because correctors are either a pink or peach base. So if you leave the corrector on by itself, you're going to have some kind of hint or tint of pink or peach underneath the eye, and you don't want that. You want to cover that up with your concealer shade, which is a skin tone correct shade, and it matches exactly to your foundation, which is super convenient. So within this palette, there are 13 shades of correctors. Now you have bisque, which are your pinks, and you have peaches, which are obviously your peach. So for those who have red or purple underneath the eye, that's how you want to use the bisque with. And then for those who have more of that brown under eye circles, you're going to want to do peaches. And what's great about this is that there's just not one universal bisque or peachy tone shade to help, you know, the majority of women out there, which I know there's other cosmetic lines that have concealers or correctors like this. But what's really great about Bobbi Brown is that she actually made it to where there's different levels to really help and target the exact shade and tone that you need for your specific client and for her needs or his needs. 
and it's going to actually make it easier in your makeup application, especially the underneath eye concealing is going to come out even better than when, than when just trying to use one universal shade. And it's always best to do a corrector, especially for those who suffer from very, very deep or dark under eye circles, to go in with a corrector instead of just trying to layer on a full coverage concealer that is about two or three shades lighter than their actual skin tone because it's actually going to do probably the reverse of what you're trying to accomplish and it's going to help or it's actually going to make the under eye circles appear even more harsh through the makeup than when you're trying to correct it. You're actually going to even out and neutralize that discoloration and then it's going to help even out the skin tone and you're not going to see that kind of subtle um, transition between their dark circle and their skin. Also with the corrector you, ha you can actually use less of concealer because the corrector is what's doing all of the work for you so you're not going to see such heavy cake of concealer trying to cover up a very harsh dark circle which is absolutely fabulous it's genius corrector and concealer is i think my favorite part or at least one of my favorite parts when it comes to um, applying my makeup on clients because it is just there's such a difference and it just it works amazingly well and i know when you guys watch my tutorials i always use my light bis corrector and it's kind of hard or it, yeah it's kind of hard to appreciate how well this corrector works, especially with me, because I don't have too much of under eye discoloration. I just have a little bit of red and purple right in the corner of my eye. Um, but hopefully one day I can demonstrate what it's really like to cover up someone that has a very dark or deep under eye circle, because it's gonna really just show you the power of this corrector. So I would really love to show that to you guys one day. Hopefully it'll be soon. Anyway, so those are the correctors. Then moving on to the concealers. This is Bobbi Brown's famous creamy concealer. Now keep that in mind, it is a creamy formula. So for those that have a lot of problems with creasing, you're gonna wanna make sure you set that concealer with some powder because that's the only way it's gonna help make it stay and stick. So for the concealers, there's actually 14 shades of concealers and they all match up to their skin tone correct foundation. So there's no guesswork into what concealer you should wear with your foundation. It all matches very evenly. So you have concealer shades all the way from porcelain to chestnut. Now that's a very, very good and helpful range of concealers. And what's great about this is if you want like a creamier formula for highlighting, you can definitely always switch to the concealers as opposed to trying to use the foundation formula on the back, which may not be creamy enough, especially if you're working with a drier skin type. But like I said, keep in mind, these are very, this is a very, very creamy formula that Bobbi Brown has developed for her concealers. They are full coverage, but trust me, they work way better when you have the corrector underneath. And for clients that have a specific preference on their concealer, I always still make sure to use a corrector because no matter what concealer you use, as long as you use a corrector underneath it, it's going to make that concealer work so much better. I can't even tell you how much better it makes it work. I cannot even go a day without using my corrector, no matter what concealer. I use, whether it be Bobbi Browns, whether it be my NARS, whether it be Maybelline, I mean, it just really enhances the power of another concealer, like, to the next level. So that's the concealer and corrector side of this palette, and what's really great, so you kind of don't get confused about, wait, what name was this one, or what shade is that one, because at first, when you look at this overall, it's kind of overwhelming. You see a bunch of different shades, a bunch of different levels of tones, and you're kind of thinking, wait, 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 how am I going to know which one I'm using? Well, what's really great about this is that on the other side, you have the names exactly to where the spots land. So then you're going to want to flip over to the other side of the palette. And here you have your 20 shades of foundation. Now, this is my favorite part, and I'm really excited to explain to you what's great about these foundations. It is the fact that they are all skin tone correct foundations. If you guys don't know, and again, if you're not familiar with Bobbi Brown, her belief is that everybody, no matter what your skin tone is, there is a little bit of yellow undertone within all of us. So all of her foundations, no matter what formula you get them in, they have a yellow base. Now that doesn't mean they're going to look very yellow or very orange on someone that is pale because she does have warm shades and cool shades, which is again, very skin tone correct, which is absolutely fabulous. So for makeup artists out there, if you have this palette with you, there is probably no way that you can go wrong when using this palette because you're going to probably be presented with a skin tone that you're a little iffy on. But trust me, this palette and these colors work so well with so many different skin tones. It is amazing. Also. For those clients of yours that really want to get contoured and you want to add so much dimension into their face, you have all of these shades to work with and it's so easy to determine what levels to move around to see which skin tones are the best to use for your face sculpting. 
so again this is really convenient to use the foundation of the formula that's within this palette is exactly like the Bobbi Brown Skin Stick Foundation. That's the formula that is actually in this palette. So the great thing about the Skin Foundation Stick Formula is that it can be used on any skin type. And when I say any, I mean any. So whether your client is dry or extremely oily or just normal, the Skin Foundation Stick Formula works with every skin type. Now, another great thing about it is that it's a customizable coverage. You can have this be used in a very sheer way, so there's not a lot of coverage going on, and you can still have your client's natural skin kind of peeking through, or you can layer it. It's a layerable foundation, so if you want maximum coverage, or if your client needs maximum coverage, you can get a full coverage look with the stick as well. Now, what's really great about this, oh, also just depending on the tools you use to apply it with, that's going to really help determine what kind of coverage you're going to end up with. Now, another great thing about this is that it's also good for any age range, so no matter whether your client is young or a more mature client, it is okay. The Skin Foundation Stick works beautifully because it is made and designed to look like your skin. It gives you the most natural look. I cannot even begin to tell you how awesome this formula is. It is amazing. Now the reason why it gives you such a natural look is the fact that it is a beeswax base. When the product, before there's any color injected into it, it is a clear beeswax base. So since it's a beeswax base, it goes on with not so much of a dry look, but yet it's not a dewy look. It literally looks like just like a naturally balanced skin. What's great about it too is that there is absolutely no SPF in it, so it photographs beautifully. I just, oh, I can't even begin to tell you how natural it just looks in photographs. Also, I mean, this is just the number one um, foundation formula we love to use on clients for that specific reason. It's just going to look so good when, like, they're getting their picture taken. You're not going to have to worry about that flashback of white. And that's seriously, like, just something that, I mean, you really need to keep in mind whenever you're doing someone's makeup. You know, what are you doing their makeup for? okay, where they're taking their pictures, is it gonna be outside with natural lighting or is it gonna be used with artificial lighting? And if it does have artificial lighting, you need to be very, very wary of anything that has SPF in it because that can make your client have that um, cast of white and it's gonna look like that mask, you know, that you don't want, or I'm sure your client's not gonna want that either. So what's great about this is that whenever you do run out of a shade, and this is something that I kinda get asked a lot about this palette is, you know, what happens when you run out of a certain color or a shade. And what's great about it is that you can buy any shade of the correctors, concealers, or foundation from Bobbi Brown. There is no shade that's within this palette that's exclusive only to the palette. That just wouldn't make sense and it just wouldn't be really helpful for the makeup artist. Um, what's great about it is that you can just refill it. You can literally just buy the product separately. So let's say, I mean, depending on, you know, your clientele and maybe where you're from or where you live, you're always going to have those colors that are going to be very, very common. And you're obviously going to be running out of more colors than you are as opposed to another color that you may not use so often. So instead of having to rebuy a whole palette just for you know one missing color or a few, you can just buy those few colors from Bobbi Brown, scoop them out of their packaging, and just you know with a little spatula refill the palette. It's so easy, and that's what another thing what really drew me to this palette. And for those of you kind of debating, okay, well. What's the difference between this palette and maybe buying something that's much more affordable? Because the price tag on this baby, it's not cheap, guys. It's for somebody who's buying it directly off of BobbyBrownCosmetics.com, this is going to set you back to 50 Now, hear me out, though. If you already work for Bobbi Brown, one, or if you have your cosmetology license, or if you have had your work published before and you can actually submit your published work, you could be eligible to get the Bobbi Brown Pro discount. So that's kind of another reason, just to be completely honest with you guys, why I wanted to buy this palette is because I do get the 40% off and um, you save so much money. So for those of you who either qualify for one of those, I mean, it's definitely worth you registering for Bobbi Brown Pro, and you can get 40% off discount site-wide. So any product on BobbiBrownCosmetics.com, you'll get it at a really great discount. So for makeup artists, this you're getting for almost half the price, so it will actually come out to about $150 with tax and everything. So that's pretty amazing. I mean, you're getting this at a really bargain steal, and then whatever products you're going to refill it with, you'll get those products for 40% off as well, too. So again, back to where 
you know, the beginning of this part of the video led me to. Um, so why buy this palette if you could buy a more affordable palette? Because I know there are other great cosmetic companies out there that make palettes. They have contour palettes, they have foundation palettes, they have concealer palettes. Honestly, that's where you as a makeup artist needs to decide what you want to invest in or what you feel like you can hold off on until later. Or maybe you just feel like buying a more affordable palette will do the job that you need it to do. And that's fine. If that's what you determine and if that's what you feel works best for you and your business, I'm no one to sit here and judge on what kind of palette or what brand it's from. None of that. It's really up to you. So another thing is too, just to keep in mind, and again, I want to be honest with you guys. I don't ever want you guys to feel like I am lying to you. This was given to me as a Christmas gift. So I didn't have to pay for it. I mean, I'll just be honest. But I will tell you this, if it wasn't given to me as a gift, I would still 100% buy this. I would because one, you're investing in something that's really great quality and it's very, very rare to find a client. I honestly can say I've had no clients have any reaction to any of these products, me personally, because there's absolutely no fragrance in them. There's no parabens, there's no fillers. I mean, there's none of that. A lot of the stuff that she puts in her products, they're from natural ingredients. Okay, so that's what you need to keep in mind when buying palettes for your business. Now, you're taking a risk when you're buying palettes from an affordable um, cosmetic company. And again, I am not here to knock any other company. I am not here to talk badly because that's not the case. You can achieve such a great makeup look with affordable products that it is insane because really when you have the skills or when you have the tools to work with whatever product you're given, I mean, you can create some really awesome work and some really great quality work. So again, I'm not here to knock any other company or to knock any other kind of palettes out there. Again, this is just going to be based off of your opinion and what you feel is going to be best for you and your business. So one of the cons or one of the things that you should think about though is if you buy an affordable palette, one, can you buy refills for that palette? If not, just think about it. You're going to have to rebuy another palette just to refill or to have the complete set. Two. A lot of those palettes are mass produced and in order to make them so cheap and so it doesn't really require too much for the consumer to spend, um, they're probably made with some fillers that if you have a client with very sensitive skin, she could have a reaction to it in the sense that she could break out the next day or something like that. So you really want to keep that in mind as like, okay, is this going to affect my business because the last thing that a makeup artist wants is for your client to be unsatisfied, especially after your service. Because not only are we in the service industry where our product is being produced at the time of consumption, but you also have to remember what kind of lasting impression is this going to have and what kind of effect it's going to have on your clients after your service has been completed because that is just as important as the service itself. So. Um, you know, just take a minute to think about that and you can determine. Now I understand, maybe some of you, you know, are saying, well, you know what, I would love to buy this palette, I mean, hello, but maybe you don't have the means right now and that's fine, you know, it's totally fine. For those of you that are aspiring makeup artists or you're just barely getting your feet wet or, you know, maybe you feel like it's not worth the investment or if it's not worth you trying to dish out the money to pay for this, that's your prerogative. We all have our own struggles or we all have, you know, our own um, opinions about how to, you know, stay within our means. And I understand that because you don't want your business to be what's making you broke, if that makes sense. Again, so kind of determine what's best for you because, again, there is nothing wrong with buying affordable palettes. But, I mean, I give this palette just an amazing review. It's literally just something that has everything in there that you could possibly need. And honestly, when you're a makeup artist, I mean, what more can you ask for? Especially when you're a makeup artist that does on-location work. Again, it's going to be way easier for you to take this with you than to be, you know, hauling around a whole bunch of different products. But, um, you know, really determine what's best for you and your business. And honestly... I, you know yourself more than what I'll ever know, so you make that determination. This is just my feedback and my opinion on why I like this palette, why I feel like it is a really good, great one to have, in my opinion. I think every makeup artist should own it because you're going to have everything you need in it. But like I said, that's just my opinion. It doesn't mean I'm right, and I'm okay with admitting that. <laughs> so I hope this video was helpful to some of you out there who maybe had questions about this palette because, 
Um, I know on the website, the reviews on there, I mean, it's different to read reviews and just have people say, oh yeah, it's great, or yeah, I liked it, or no, I didn't like it. I understand that that's not that helpful because trust me, when you know I was looking into it, it wasn't that helpful for me. And also the description on the website, I mean, it's not, it's not gonna be as detailed as somebody telling you who has used it firsthand that this is an awesome palette or why it's great or why it's not great. So again, you guys, be the you guys be the ones to determine what's best for you. And like I said, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you all learned something. If you all have any other questions about this palette or really anything else related to um, what was mentioned in this video, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. I always try to answer to everybody's comments because I just don't want you guys to think that I expect you to watch my videos and then, you know, whenever you guys have a question, I'm going to leave you hanging because that's not the case. I really want to help you guys and just really give as much information as I can because that's really the whole purpose of, you know, why I started this channel. So I will see you all in my next video. If you like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!